Hello, and welcome back to White Noise Level 3 Podcast. This is Tiwanaku coming at you live from sunny South Florida, where it is currently 81 degrees throughout the entire night. And that is not even the feel-like temperature, which is undoubtedly hotter. I know a good portion of the United States, at least, is under a cold spell, and I'm sorry, but I cannot relate (laughs) It's just, it's never cold here. Um, But stay safe to all my listeners around the world. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about this episode, um, doing it and not doing it. And finally, I just decided if it helps one person, um, then it's worth it. So apparently, and unfortunately, yet again, another young United States of America female uh, has gone missing and is in harm's way. Her name is Anaya Blanchard, and her reward, uh, the last time that I checked, less than 24 hours ago, has ballooned up to, um, you know, over $100,000. And that is undoubtedly helped by the fact that her father, her biological father, is a very famous wrestler. So uh, definitely, you know, hoping for her safety. And um, the title of this episode is Don't Get Chips Late at Night. Uh, The reason why is because the last sighting of Anaya, unfortunately, uh, is just four seconds long. She's in a gas station. Um, I think they live somewhere south, like Mississippi. Um, She she just is walking in a gas station with a bag of salt and vinegar chips. Uh, And that was the last time that she has been seen alive. And by now, it's been well over a week. Uh, Fast forward to finding her SUV and... It has, uh, like, markings of an accident, you know, scrapes along the side, like a pretty bad accident, and abandoned. So, um, I was listening to another podcast where her mom was saying that she was texting her uh, roommate uh, at Auburn uh, College, Auburn University, I'm sorry, I don't know which one it is, Auburn College or Auburn University, Uh, Auburn, let's just say, and uh, texting back and forth, the roommate was saying, you know, I'm I'm waiting up for you. And, you know, I'm worried. And and Anaya wrote back saying that she was fine, that she had met some guy, some random new guy. And, uh, and I think actually put the name out. But of course, in an investigation, they can't give the name out. And who knows if that's really the person's name, the guy's name. So, I mean, that's all we know so far, except for the really bad news that police have released that within the inside of her SUV, there are signs that she had been harmed. Um, And that's all that they're saying right now. So, you know, I mean, um, a lot of the reason why I listen to true crime is to avoid situations for myself and for my loved ones. And then, you know, of course, for my listeners. So on top of this, just being very, very tragic and listening to the parents listening, you know, I mean, they're destroyed. The family's destroyed. Can you imagine being the roommate? I mean, it's hard enough sometimes going to college, but if your roommate goes missing, I mean, I don't know if I would be able to handle that very well without a lot of emotional support. Um, So a lot of lives have been affected, if not destroyed, by the situation beyond Anaya's. Um... So the first thing that comes to mind is, and this could just be the way how I was raised, I do not snack. I have three meals a day. Um, That could even be, you know, a little, you know, just a little bite of yogurt. It doesn't have to be full-fledged on, you know, buffet-type quantity meals. 
but um, that's just the way that I was raised. That's how my body is programmed. And I've been able to keep, you know, the weight off essentially by good eating habits. Because when I do eat, I like to be hungry. Number one, if I'm snacking, I'm not hungry at all. I'm not used to it. It makes the food taste better if you're hungry and your body actually does, you know, it's a sign that your body actually needs it. And then I try to make sure that the food is relatively healthy and not a greasy spoon. So you will never find me sauntering in apparently by myself to a in a gas station at two o'clock in the morning or so to buy potato chips. Um, that's not something that I do. So, um, you know, avoidance is is uh, the first the first step. What what is it? There, are, you know, three steps to a, a crime, and one of them is opportunity. Don't give them the opportunity. You know, I mean, wait until your local grocery store opens at seven or eight in the morning, and then get a two for one. You know, like buy one get one free Lay's potato chips, then you're all set, and and bring a little you know kit with you everywhere you go. So that at least you're out of harm's way and you're not dealing with uh, the cover of night where apparently, as in this case, anything can happen. Anything goes. Um, now, of course, nobody deserves to do, have something like this happen over chips. I'm certainly not saying that. But uh, again, you know, just not something that I would do mm-hmm. and that I have done. And certainly after this, situation, I will guarantee that I will never ever do. Even if I'm hungry, I'll just bite it until the morning. Um, Next is the very real danger of human trafficking. So uh, it's prevalent. And who knows what the real numbers are. But you're basically just a commodity to them. I mean, they just see dollar signs with you. They drug you. And just farm you out until, um, you know, the inevitable happens. So, um, a lot of cases, you know, I mean, I, you would probably rather be dead than to deal with something like that. Um, so, you know, please pray for Anaya. It's really sad that in the 21st century, we're still dealing with such incredible violence of, you know, men against women who are obviously uh, just out to get it for themselves, uh, either profiting, you know, through human trafficking or just enacting some sick, twisted revenge on uh, poor Anaya, who had nothing to do with anything. She was just, it sounds like she was just out partying or something. But um, stay safe, you know, especially under cover of night. Don't go out unless you absolutely need to. And if you do go out with a bunch of friends, you know, I mean, in this case, not just one, go out with, you know, a couple of friends. So, um, you know, especially under cover of night, um, Nancy Grace says nothing good happens after midnight. And she has the experience to make that statement. So it's something to think about. Uh, Sorry for the white noise around me. I'm actually driving. Uh, My animals are so cute, but they're so demanding. So they always start, as you know, they always, the four of them always start making some kind of ruckus or fuss when I'm doing these live podcasts. So I thought the best way would just be to lock myself in my car and uh, talk to all of you. But on a brighter note, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. At least everybody's aware bring your little snack kits with you and do not stop anywhere at night for a late night snack. This is uh, Tiwanaku coming at you live from sunny South Florida. Please consider donating. Uh, Click the donate link on my website, whitenoiselevel3.wordpress.com. We would really appreciate it. I have four fur baby mouths, mouths to feed, three rescues, Um, you know, two dogs and two cats that you've already undoubtedly heard already too much about in my previous podcast. (laughs) All right, guys, we'll talk soon. Let me know what you think about this. Leave some comments on the website. Bye-bye.